Nataka vile vile niwashukuru mara tukiwauliza katika shughuli zenu za bunge za county maneno ya county aggregation and industrial park program ya housing program ya health mumekuwa watu wa kujitolea na mumetusaidia kupitisha regulations sheria ambayo imetuwezesha kutimiza yale mipango ambayo tumekubaliana kati ya national government na county government mimi nataka niseme asante sana na sisi wote kuanzia MCA mpaka mimi na wale wengine wote tumechaguliwa hapa katikati na kuteuliwa sisi ndio leadership ya Republic of Kenya ndio na jukumu ya kupeleka Kenya mbele imewekwa na ni kwa mapenzi ya Mungu imewekwa juu yetu na mimi nimewaeleza pale mbeleni hakuna kiongozi anachaguliwa kwa bahati mbaya every leader is elected kwa sababu Mungu amependa hivyo na niliwaeleza pale nyuma lazima tujiulize sisi tuliopata nafasi ya uongozi wakati huu ni nini Mungu anataka tufanye katika Kenya we have a mission because we have the privilege and the honor to be leaders in Kenya today and i have told you we need to work together so that we achieve the will of god and the aspirations of the people of kenya we are invested in making sure that we grow as much food as possible it is the only way we are going to eliminate hunger in kenya now you've seen we have we bought 500 metric tons of sunflower to Liagiza from Zambia and other places ndio mmeona this year kuna sunflower inakuwa grown some parts of Kenya we want to build it up sunflower we're going to bring more seeds of solar eh, soya we're going to bring more seeds of canola and now we have a whole program on palm oil it's going to take us a bit longer because palm oil will take us 4 5 6 years so but our plan is that we must start now mimi nataka niwaulize kama viongozi wa mashinani you have a role to play wewe kama kiongozi wa mashinani you have a duty kusumbuana na governor kusumbuana na watu wa NCBB kuhakikisha kwamba watu wako kwa ward yako wanapata mbolea wewe lazima utusaidie kuhakikisha kwamba all your farmers are registered tulifanya na chiefs tuka register lakini bado kuna farmers hawapati mbolea because they are not registered as a leader in a ward friends make it your responsibility you know make it your responsibility umwambia wakulima sasa serikali imepanga iko mbolea 2500 wewe register na tuna mpango ya kulete kutoka huko mbali ikuja hapa karibu we have a deliberate plan on how to create jobs all of us here agree that jobs is a problem unemployment is a problem kila kijiji imejaa vijana kila shopping center imejaa vijana wote hawana kazi ni kweli ama si kweli yes we must be responsible enough to plan for the education of our children but to equally plan for what they will do when they get out of school college or university and that is why tuko na mpango mara nne ya kwanza na tuliandika kwa manifesto ni program ya housing Your program ya housing is supposed to help us sort out four issues. Number one is to make sure that we have 
decent housing for Kenyans because the constitution mandates the government to plan decent housing for citizens. Number two, it is the biggest employer. So tunapanga ajira ya vijana wetu kupitia kwa program ya housing. As I talk to you now, we already have 140,000 young people working in our housing program who were not working last year. In another three months, to launch the next phase, as we are awarding the next phase, we are moving the houses. Now we are at almost 50,000 50, housing units. In another three months, to take what we figure, 100,000 housing units. In another three months, 260, 270,000 young people will be working in our housing program. Unajua tu kisema sa zingine they will be working. Watu tu anaona muti akusukuma wilbaro pale kwa kwa mjengo. Huyo wakusukuma wilbaro anasukuma hiyo wilbaro kwa watu wengi. Architect ako apondani kwa hiyo juu ya hiyo wilbaro. Mwenye kuchora nyumba. Iko kuonde disabea mwenye kufanya hesabu. Iko engineer mwenye kuchora chuma. Iko stone fixer, iko plumber, iko carpenter, iko nani wamejazana huko ndani. Na kuna msururu ya watu wanafanya kazi mpaka kwa factory. Factory ya simiti imeanza kuajiri watu zaidi. Factory ya chuma imeanza kuajiri watu zaidi. Transporters hapa katikati wako, wako kwa kazi. This is why housing is important. Tunai... Katika hii mpango, pia tumekubaliana mambo ya chakula kufanywa processing na value addition and that is why we have the county aggregation and industrial park that is why we are doing 500 new markets around kenya kwa hizo markets ukiona design ya hiyo market tumeweka mpaka cold rooms na tumeongeza a corner yenye inaweza kufanywa processing facility wewe kama mca you must find out which is the nearest market to your ward. Alafu, muna wesa kuongea na eh, eh, county government yenu. Kama national government imejenga soko mahali fulani. Ile pesa ya county muna wesa kuenda kupeleka the alternative market. Ata kama ni soko ndogo ya shilingi milion mbili, milion tatu, milion tano. Ijengwe. So that we have a market infrastructure yenye tatusaidia kukusanya mazao ya wakulima because we are still largely an agricultural country. So we consolidate and aggregate our products nje tuweze kufikisha sokoni na tuweze ku access market. Why are we doing markets? We are doing markets because 40% of our produce is lost because of post-harvest losses. Yani chakula imekuwa harvested Inaharibika kwa sababu hakuna proper storage, hakuna proper market infrastructure. So we can feed ourselves more if we can reduce on what is lost after we harvest. So this is why we are investing in markets and market infrastructure so that we can reduce the cost, ama the losses that come as a result of uh, post-harvest losses. Housing is also supposed to help us to reduce ile shamba tunatumia ambayo tungezalisha na ayo chakula. Kwa sababu kwa sasa, unakuta sehemu nyingi, shamba imekatua, imekuwa mali ya kuishi, we are ukienda many areas, go to Vihiga, go to Kisi, go to many other areas. Unakuta shamba imekuwa kidogo kidogo, if we continue this trajectory, we will have rural slums, whole counties will be rural slums. So housing helps us stem the tide on subdivision of land that is meant for agricultural produce. So it comes with a lot of items. Number two, we now have a big plan on digital jobs. And this is where MCS come in. 
tumebadilisha sheria leaders wa majority wako hapa tumebadilisha sheria ya CDF sasa CDF is also going to invest in ICT hubs mheshimiwa MCA kila ward itakuwa na ICT hub kila ward niliketi kwa mahali mmeketi na wizara ya energy wizara ya ICT and many others last week kukubaliana ile last mile delivery ya mtandao ama internet and this year we are going to connect 1 million homes or connections to internet next year we will do 3 million like that until we connect every part of Kenya na tunaanza pale kwa ICT hub pale kwa ICT hub mjumbe atajenga serikali will bring internet pia tutalete walimu wa kufundisha hiyo vijana na tutalete ma computers wewe MCA ni kutafuta watu ya kuja kusoma. Si ndio? So at least nimekuambia ni sasa wewe <laughs> sasa wewe we, we, uende uende mbele uanze kutangaza maneno kuna maneno yanakuja hapa na mimi ndio nimepanga. Eh? <laughs> what, what, is, what is the problem? Nilienda nikaongea na rais na wamesema ya kwamba hii kazi sasa tupange. Ama namna gani? Ndio uonekane huko na network. Usikae mtu eh? So every ward will have an ICT hub and we are going to have maybe between 200 or 200 computers and we are going to and that is a program that is rolling out this year. In the next two, three months you will see it. I'm sure many of you have seen some of the ICT hubs we have in uh, in Tibet. Now we are going to move them even to vocational training centers. Ile iko pale tunaongea na governors pamoja na nyinyi so that we can make those facilities available and we can be able to drive this because tuko na ajira nyingi. We have a very big uh, opportunity for digital jobs. Kijana hapo kwa computer can earn 20, 30, 40, 50, 000 a month. Simple like that. Na sisi wote we need to have a plan. Wewe kama MCA tupangane kwa sababu lazima tupange mambo ya ajira. We have already changed the laws. We are going to have a new uh, NHIF now it is going to be called uh, uh, social health um, insurance fund under social health insurance authority and we are going to eliminate all the pilferage wale watu wanalipishwa 500 na mapato yao iko chini tunataka turudishe ikuje 300 wale watu indigents wale hawana kabisa uwezo wale watu maskini tunataka kuwalipia kama serikali we are going to pay for about 2 million people the ones who completely cannot afford and then number three, we want to have a chronic illness fund it has sorted out mambo ya cancer it has sorted out mambo ya hypertension it has sorted out mambo ya diabetes hakuna mtu tena ataenda kuuza mali yake kwenda kulipa bill hospitali we will have a proper plan we have spent about 5 billion shillings to equip all our community health promoters with proper equipment ndio waweze kushughulikia mambo ya afya pale kwenye kijiji they are providing half the stipend national government is providing half the stipend ndio tuhakikisha kwamba tunashughulika na kuzuia magonjwa kule chini so that we can have a healthy nation so you guys tusaidiane mueleze wananchi wewe kama MCA find out how many community health promoters are in your ward my brothers find out how many community health promoters are in your ward nikina nani are they doing something ama they are not doing anything assist the county assist us 
so that, because these are people we have given equipment, these are people we are paying a stipend, it is in your interest to know where a community health promoter is. Also, find time to know your dispensary and your health center. Tembelea Hawa, find out, get information, so that when you go to the assembly, you have an opportunity kwenda kueleza kama ni CEC, ama ni governor, ndio tuweze kusaidiana because delivering to the people is our mandate and is our responsibility. And we are sticking to our plan. And it is because tunataka kubadilisha siyasa ya Kenya. Pale nyuma, it was fashionable kusema maneno ambayo you don't believe in Ukisha pata na fasi ya uongozi, unaenda unasahau. Alafu, unarudi tena, unakuja kusema mambo mengine. What we are going to do this time round, we are going to implement our manifesto. To the left. Because, atu kuenda kwa waranichi, kuenda kwa tanganya, tulienda kuambia, tutafanya program ya kuzalisha chakula. Tutafanya program ya universal health coverage tutafanya program ya house kupanga ajira ya vijana tutafanya program ya digital super highway tutafanya ile program ambayo itahakikisha kwamba wananchi wako na afya and that is what we are doing and i promise you we are going to change Kenya. <laughs>